for individuals, sometimes it's really not their fault that they're homeless. Sometimes it's beyond their control, but they're all capable of getting out of it. It's just giving them a place and some support. Being loved and accepted and a place to lay your head at night is huge in order for you to be able to, to get back up on your feet. Angie's House works with government agencies and other nonprofits to provide housing for low-income individuals in Cottonwood, Arizona. And from Sedona, Clarkdale, Jerome, Flagstaff, and Prescott. I was born and raised in Cottonwood, Arizona. It was a small town. There was a lot of care. You could, you know, go out in the, in the evening and play, and you knew the people that lived next door. It was a really nice place to grow up. My parents, they worked very, very hard, but it seemed to never be enough to cover stuff that was outgoing. It shaped my life. I said, okay, I will work hard to get what I want, but I will have to save for it. We were doing all the way up to $75 million in sales. I loved it. In the year 2000, a company from Florida merged with our company, and they always tell you, your job's secure. Of course, that was not the case, and so a lot of the top managers were, were released. And at that point was when I thought, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to do now that I lost my dream job? The first two homes that, that I bought was actually just a regular rental property. And I realized that my residents were having a hard time paying their rent. They could pay the utilities, but not the rent. So then I realized, well, they were dealing with some addiction issues. We don't require a huge application process. Their counselor calls me, we talk, explain to them that it is an actual program. They will be required to look for work and get on their feet and be self-supporting, but pretty much if they're willing to do that, it's a go and they come to us. And that was one thing I'm very proud of. We don't have a lot of red tape. And the big reason for doing that is when someone needs help, they don't need help in four weeks, they need help now. That would have actually cost us about $75. Pedro was actually helping me repair uh, my, my rental properties. And he was, you know, a very kind person. And the neat thing I loved about him was I was repairing my homes as well. And we complimented each other. You're going to have to repair that, uh, the blind. blind? Pedro was uh, homeless as a young child and as a young adult. So he gave me a per huge perspective on housing for the homeless. So he and I said, we do the homes all the time. Why don't we just create a homeless shelter? So we did. So we took one of our small little homes and we turned it into a homeless shelter. There's so many people in need of help, and I, it breaks my heart when I can't help them. I was really happy to hear that Winston, Glenn's little boy, and uh, Carl's little boy, Guinness, play. Oh, they do. It's, yeah. it's like two, two jet planes, just boom, 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 oh. back and forth. Yeah, it's funny. What I'm seeing with the homeless population here in Conwood is they're older. And that is when it's heartbreaking, because it's, at 65, I don't want to be looking for a place to stay. And those are the days when I'm like, gosh, if, is what I'm doing helping enough? And one month, I, uh, I get messed up on my money. So I stayed here for about a month till I got my uh, disability check. But we forget how powerful we are. One person can make the difference and make the change. And I love the challenge of saying, okay, this needs to be fixed. Let me figure out a way and then getting it accomplished. But one person can make a change in the world, just one.